In this segment, we're going to look at uh, some names of compounds and write the formulas for them. All right. So we'll just uh, jump in, go through these fairly quickly. Dinitrogen pentoxide. All right. So clearly, this is a, uh, a molecular compound. We have nitrogen and oxide, two nonmetals. Dinitrogen. These ones are pretty easy. Just di nitrogen, pent is five, so N two O five. All right. And then we have manganese two hydroxide. So the two tells us the charge of the manganese because that's a transition metal. And then hydroxide we know is O H and it has a negative one charge. So if I have a positive two and a negative one, I need two hydroxides to balance out the manganese. Right? So that's going to be manganese and then OH, but since that's a polyatomic ion, I need it in parentheses two. Right? And then here we have ammonium acetate. Both of these are polyatomic ions. The ammonium ion is NH4 and it has a positive one charge and the acetate ion is C2H3O2 and it has a negative one charge so they balance out together um, one to one ammonium uh, acetate. Alright, here we have lead four carbonate so the charge of the lead is four and carbonate is CO3 with a negative 2 charge. So how many carbonate do I need to balance out the positive 4 of the lead? I need 2. So lead 4 carbonate. All right. Again, parentheses because of the polyatomic ion. Here I have selenium dioxide. You see the Greek prefix, so that tips you off that this is a molecule. Um, and we confirm that with selenium and oxygen, um, two nonmetals. So SeO2, selenium dioxide. Here again, nitrogen monoxide. Um, these ones, pretty easy. One uh, mono, so monoxide, so NO. Calcium sulfate, we know sulfate is SO4 with a negative 2 charge. Calcium, alkaline earth metal, so it's in that second column, it has a positive 2 charge. So we have calcium with positive 2, sulfate with negative 2, they balance out 1 to 1. Potassium fluoride, potassium is in the first group. It's the an alkali metal. Fluoride is a halogen, so it has a negative one charge, positive one. They balance out um, one to one, and so that's just KF. Here I have chromium three oxide. The three Roman numeral is uh, the charge of the chromium because that's a transition metal. And uh, oxide, so that's a negative two charge for the oxygen. And a positive three charge for chromium. So how do I have to put those together? In order to, uh, you know, kind of find the lowest common multiple between two and three, and that would be six. So I need a positive six um, charge from the chromium and I get that from uh, having two of those and a negative six from the oxygen I get from having three okay so negative two positive three the three goes to the oxygen the two goes to the chromium okay sodium nitrate we know nitrate is NO3 with a negative one charge so I have a negative one my sodium is a positive one. It's an alkali metal group. So that's, that goes together um, one to one. 
it's just Na NO3. Right. Beryllium sulfite. Okay, this is one of those slightly less common ions, but still um, important. And sulfate is SO4, so sulfite, one less oxygen, SO3. Same charge, negative 2. Beryllium is the uh, first alkali, alkaline earth metal. It uh, has a positive 2 charge, negative 2, so this is just beryllium sulfite SO3. All right, now we have barium cyanide. <coughs> cyanide is CN and, um, uh, and, and barium, of course, uh, also in that same group a little further down. So it has a positive 2. Cyanide has a negative 1. So I need two cyanides. So again, don't uh, fall into the trap of writing it like, like that without parentheses. Sometimes with these ones like cyanide and hydroxide where um, there's not a number there to remind you to put the parentheses, you have to be um, aware of that and don't forget that. Okay, so there's barium cyanide. Alright, here we have palladium 4 acetate. Okay, so 4 is the charge of the palladium, um, PD, um, and then acetate is C2H3O2. It has a negative 1 charge, so I need a negative 4 to balance out the positive 4. I need four of those. Okay. Here I have iodine monofluoride. So this is a molecular compound, a molecule, and it's just iodine monofluoride. It's just if. <laughs> okay. And